pelvic healers and pelvic warriors. My name is Julie Sarton. I'm the owner of Sarton Physical Therapy, also known as Pelvic Healing on Instagram. I've been a pelvic PT for about 20 years now and have three clinics out here in Southern California in Orange County. Um, first and foremost, before we dive into some anatomy today, just wanted to send love and light to all our friends across the country as um, we're all facing these challenging times. So today we wanna to talk about something called the vestibule. Um, the vestibule is a structure that most of us don't pay attention to until something happens with it. So really wanna review a couple things. Um, what is the vestibule? What, how is it created? What's it created from? What's its purpose? And then there's a big take home message I want you all to walk away with today. So let's dive in. So what is the vestibule? The vestibule, actually formal definition of a vestibule, most of us know, it is an entrance. So it can be an entrance or a portal to, a to another structure. So for example, a building, a house, I always like to uh, talk about the vestibule of a church, right? The entrance into a holy place. So there is a vaginal vestibule that exists. I'm gonna show you what that looks like right here on this model. We're gonna come up close. So just to orient you to the anatomy here, okay, here's a pelvis, and here you would be sitting or standing. If we turn you this way, just to orient you, here are two sitting bones right through here, the pubic bones up through here. So if we look specifically at the anatomy up close, right here we have the labia minora coming all around the entrance, actually, of the vestibule. If we look even closer, we come up through this region and we have the glands clitoris up here. We have the urethra, this should be a hole here. And we have the entrance to the vaginal canal here. This also should be a hole. All of this tissue inside the labia minora, okay, surrounding and housing the, the um, vaginal opening, the urethra, and even up through this region underneath the glans clitoris is called the vaginal vestibule. So the vestibule is actually created from epithelium. It is not muscle. So epithelium is one cell thick tissue that exists. And the vestibule, as you can see, is surrounded by muscle. So it's surrounded by external pelvic floor. So we have transverse perineal muscle here. We have a, the, it's called the bulbocavernosis that comes up through here and the ischiocavernosis that comes out through here. So these muscles surround the outside of the vestibule. And if we dive into the vaginal canal here, we have, it's called the pubococcygeus that's on the inside of the vestibule. So these muscles certainly can influence um, the, vestibu the vestibular tissue, but they, this is not muscle. What this is, this is epithelial tissue, is actually tissue embryologically that is the same as the urethra. Um, this was a great concept when I learned it. It was a big aha moment for me as a clinician because I recognized that the urethra and the vestibule really are created um, from the same tissue, meaning that they are one and the same. So you could even refer to this vestibular tissue as open urethra. And another like, wow, enlightening moment I had as a pelvic PT treating women who have something called vestibulodynia and pain in through this region is, that's why we commonly see patients who have vestibular pain also have quote, bladder pain or urethral pain. So it's been coined that interstitial cystitis or painful bladder syndrome and something called vestibulodynia can be the evil twins. So recognizing that is important. Uh, next thing I wanna point out is the vestibule right through here is also highly dependent on both estrogen and testosterone. There are a lot of receptors in this region that, uh, that help or that are open to those hormones. Uh, so if you are low on estrogen or low with your testosterone, it's going to influence the tissue health here. All right, so the vestibule, it actually houses the vestibular glands. These are small little glands that exist that create lubrication for us during arousal. So you can't necessarily see it 
to the naked eye, but if you have something called a vulvoscopy that's done, you can blow up and see what the tissue state is and the health is of each of these vestibular glands. And you can look and see, are they inflamed? Are they, are they healthy? Um, there's a main vestibular gland right here. This is called your Bartholin's gland. All these little blue, um, this blue section right through here, this is representing the vestibular glands. Quick recap from today. We now know, all know what our vaginal vestibule is. Um, we understand what its purpose is. All right, it's entrance into the holy place. It houses vestibular glands that help lubricate during arousal. We understand it is created embryologically from the same tissue that the urethra is created from. So this region can be considered open urethra. And when we have problems with one of those structures, we often have problems with another one. We also reviewed that this, the vestibule is highly dependent on both estrogen and testosterone. So hormone status will play a role with the tissue health here. We recovered this is not muscle, although it is surrounded by muscle, pelvic floor, externally, superficially, as well as internally. So the state of those muscles also influences this region. Okay, thanks for tuning in and look forward to chatting more about the vestibule in another day or two.